All right, so this is a very beginner tutorial for MATLAB. So um, I'm going to teach you very simple things in this lesson. But first, uh, let's talk about how to download the MATLAB. Um, so make sure your MATLAB is installed on your computer. So you can either download torrents or you can download from the website. So I'm just going to give a small information on where to download. So you just come to this website and download 64-bit and uh, yeah once you download you have to install it and make sure when you install uh, your internet connection is turned off because if it doesn't it will give you some weird message it won't install also make sure uh, your uh, windows defender is turned off when you download so yeah once you done that you just you know send the crack files to the install and then it's, it's all good so we're going to learn some really basic stuff. Um, I'm not going to make a one to two hour video and make it like super long. It's going to be 10 to 20 minutes, very simple stuff. I'll try to put all information I can. So this MATLAB is uh, a it's like a calculator. You can do some lot of better stuff here. So let's uh, do some stuff. Um, for example, three summation three is six. 8, multiplication 9, 72, and what else? So yeah, th this is all you can do in the calculator. Now, now we're going to learn some comments, which is called CLC. So once you enter this comment, everything in this comment window will be clear. But uh, it's not clear in the work page. So in order to cl clear everything in this MATLAB, you have to type clear semicolon then CLC once you've done that everything will be cleared from both window so yeah let's uh, do a few examples and some questions uh, for example uh, if you type pi it will give you the information of pi even if you type i it will give information about that but when you want to type 2 pi then you have to 2, then you have to into, and then pi on the bracket. Then it will give you the full information. But if you just type 2 pi, it will, it will show some error. And uh, it will correct you. So let's clear CLC. Yeah, now uh, let's learn some uh, useful stuff. How to use, like colon and semicolon let's learn complex number operations uh, for example c1 equals to 1 minus 2i then we're gonna use semicolon because that's not and i'm just gonna put another version and then c2 equals to uh, 5i multiplication c1 and now we're gonna find out what is c2 and this is the result you can get um, the reason why i use semicolon is because we're doing two functions and just gonna find out c2 that's why uh, make sure you don't miss the small items it's super important so yeah um i also want to do some equations to be honest um so i have a book i have some question banks you can like um so this is the first questions uh, for example a equals to 10 1 by 2 semicolon b equals to 10 minus 1 by 2 semicolon and now if you want to want a value it will give you the a value and if you type b it will give you the b value which is uh, 0 0.3 um, yeah, I hope, th hope this makes sense. Uh, what's the expression? 
So yeah. And now um, we can do question number three, maybe. Okay, so make sure you put the value of x equals to minus 5 plus 9i semicolon y equals to 6 minus 2i semicolon again and then type the equation z equals to x plus 2 into y and so we find the z which is 7.7 7 and plus 5 but there is another so we'll do this one as well uh, z equals to x 2 by y and we get the z minus 3.9 minus 16.3 so those are the correct for this question um, okay let's learn some arrays maybe u equals to 0 is to 0 0.1 is to 1 so this is colon yeah and w, w equals to 5 sign okay if you want to if you want like value of w you can just press this it will come as column and if you want a value of u uh, for example u4 then you're gonna put 4 it will give you the value of u4 if you want a value for w4 to give you the value for w4 i hope it does make sense to you guys um yeah let's learn some polynomial roots um it's clear clc um yeah we have to do some equation yeah we can do this one uh, for question purpose because if there's no questions I don't know which one should I answer or we can do the question 4 find the 25th element so yeah let's um, type it down uh, make sure you type a equals to then the this formula so just type what it is cos 0 then 0 0.01 then log 10 100 semicolon then the length of 25th elements equals to m equals to length then a and this is the result wait i did something wrong yeah, I know what I did wrong. To put this. Now it goes to M equals 101 and A25 equals 1.24. So, yeah. So, this is a very simple. You can just clear. CLC. All right, so now we're going to learn plots. So before learning plots, make sure I teach you some of the functions and syntax, which is important. Uh, for example, if you want to type e to the power 4, all right, so you type it, e to the power 4. Uh, you, could, it, you just can't type e4. It don't work here. It don't work like that. So you have to type exp slash, sorry, first bracket 4, and then it will come the value of e to the power 4. 
And for example, uh, if you want to type like root over 81, and there is no root over options on MATLAB, you, all you have to do is just type SQRT, so this is the square root, and then put your value inside, for example, 81, and it will came 9. And same for ln x, log x, or whatever. For ln, like, you want to know the value of ln 10, so you have to type log, then put 10, it will give you the value of log 10. And for example, log 10x, log 10, and then the value of x is 10, it's give you 1. And for this sin x and sin inverse x, so for sin x, you have to type sin, and x value is 90, so you all know sin 90 is 1, and it came. And if you want to like, want to know like sine inverse, you have to type a sine, then 90, and whatever the value it will come. So that's uh, a, a very simple way you can do it. Uh, so those are the very simple syntax and clear slash CLC, clear everything. Now we're going to learn plots, but you know to learn plots, um, I have to do some equations like the previous that we did. Mm. I mean, without equation, we can learn it though, but it will be like, it doesn't make sense. So let's go to these uh, questions and do some questions. So we're going to make a small, put it over here. So we have y equals to 2 square root x, z equals to 4 sine 3x for this value. Which of the following plots is the answer? So the answer is given, so I'm just going to type with x equals to 0. h to 0 0.01, we can use 0 0.02 as well. And then colon 5, so my colon turn off, and then write the value of y y equals to z, sorry, 2 sqrt x. Uh, don't forget to use multiplications here. And then semicolon, put the z value 4 multiplication sine 3 multiplication x. And now we're going to do the plot x and y. Plot. So yeah, plot x, y, and uh, we are also going to do plot x and z. Um, so we are use the there's the semicolon. Um, so this will stick. So just type hold on, and then do plot x comma z so what it, this hold on common does it will uh, this will be there as well as this x and z value so as you can see this is the answer so this is the correct answer so we did we did it perfectly so yeah um now i'm going to clear everything CLC, if it makes sense. Now we're going to do the question number seven. We do the same way, but we're going to put the value 0 0.2 maybe. So x equals to 0 is to 0 0.2 is to 5 semicolon. And then y equals to 4 uh, multiplication sqrt. Uh, in the bracket 6 into x bracket close plus 1 make sure I do another bracket um, yeah let's do it. wait this one yeah plus 1 semicolon and then type the value of z equals to 5 into exp 
um, 0 0.3 into x uh, semicolon no we have minus 2x So let's put this bracket. Yep. Let's put the bracket minus two x. Now it's in my column. Then I'm going to plot x comma y. Okay, we need two plots. So x comma y comma x comma z. Um, now wait. Okay, yeah. Um, so as you can see, this is the answer. This is what we get. Um, and here I mistakenly press this one is capital, so I should put capital. So this is the question number seven. Now we're going to do question number eight and wrap this up. The plot equations no more clear. So I'm going to call CLC. And we're going to type this and uh, the value t equals to zero or x equals to, it doesn't matter, zero. Uh, colon 0 0.01 colon 5 semicolon as equals to 4 into sine 7 into t plus 5 then plus sqrt 6 into t plus 2 semicolon now we're going to plot uh, what is mm, t comma s t com sorry t comma s and got the plot this is the plot and uh, a is the correct answer so that's uh, basically that's uh, all, I, all, all I have to say about these plot equations um, yeah, there's a lot of other stuff, but it's kind of difficult for right now is for, because I'm only teaching some basic stuff. Um, so, yeah, next we're going to teach you some metrics and um, some physics calculations. Um, yeah very complex stuff so yeah if this helped you please uh, subscribe and thanks for watching guys have a nice day